Can you imagine your life where money is your friend, working with you to achieve all your dreams and desires? If you struggle seeing money as your friend, then join Kathy Cook Noble, financial advisor and educator on understanding how your money can work for you. It is possible. Now, here is Financially Speaking with Kathy Cook Noble. Good afternoon and welcome to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network. I am your host, Kathy Cook Noble, and tonight it might look a little bit different than what you're used to. And that's because I have some very special guests with the show at the show that I'm going to introduce in just a minute. Uh, I just wanted to uh, let all my Canadian viewers know that this is a show that you're going to relate to really well and introduce it to our, our American friends and our friends around the world because uh, they're in for a real treat as well. And like all nights, we come together on Mondays and we talk about different financial conversations and topics that people are having and having some confusion over and maybe having some concerns over. And we take each topic and, uh, and honestly, all the topics from the show come from somebody, either a client that I have in my financial practice or a family member or um, somebody that has sent in and asked one of our staff or, or one of our clients or friends about um, a specific topic. And we take it and we break it down into plain language so that they can understand all their finances. And every once in a while, we get some special guests like we do tonight. And this is one where you are really going to want to download our app because this is a show you're going to want to play over and over, um, I think. <laughs> and uh, I'll let you know in an hour. But uh, we do have some pretty uh, amazing uh, app features and it's completely free for Android and for iPhone. If you don't download it, you're you're, you're not doing yourself a service because it has all the hosts on it. You can join us live in the chat room. You can join us watching the television part of it live. You can watch it in uh, uh, play after on TV on over 250 podcasts and platforms that we have. Uh, it's really easy to navigate and it's, it's great to be able to, to plug into whichever show that you might need to have a little bit of inspiration from. And uh, I encourage you, you can have it downloaded and on your phone on the first break. So there's a little bit of fun homework that you can do when we take our first break. But tonight we have for the entire hour, uh, a very, very cool guest. And I, this is the first time that I've actually had rock stars on my show. And <laughs> for those of you in Canada, you know, the band, the tragically hip, they are extremely popular. They, uh, were extremely, uh, high in the press all the time where you always were seeing and hearing their music being played or on award ceremonies. Um, and certainly no one will forget the final performance before uh, the band uh, completely wound up because of the, the illness with the, the lead singer, Gord Downey, who uh, sadly passed away and lost his battle with cancer. But uh, what has happened in Canada is there's just such a love for the band that there are uh, tribute bands that, are, that had, uh, Emerge and one of the more popular and hard to book bands is the Hip Two. And I have two of the Hip Two with me tonight. We're the two. And these two are right from the, uh, the right off actually a concert last weekend. Um, the Hip Two is the ultimate live tragically hip experience. They bring the live concert feel to the hip. Uh, the Hip, for those of you who aren't Canadian, is referring to the Tragically Hip, as that was their shortened version. Uh, the Hip 2 consists of five dedicated musicians and diehard Tragically Hip fans. The lead singer, Dave, he honors Gord Downey with his majestic voice, while Jeff, who's with me tonight, keeps the music alive on lead guitar, bringing the sound to its full rocking splendor are Jay on bass and Jimmy on rhythm guitar. And on drums, who's also here with me tonight, the drummer is John. He keeps the beat going and pulls it all together <laughs> To bring you the full hip to experience <laughs> so they're not just great musicians but i feel like they might have a career in comedy as well so <laughs> i don't know about this one so well. i'm excited to welcome the two of the hip to uh original tribute band for the tragically hip to the show tonight so this is john and this is jeff welcome to the show guys thanks, thanks for, for having us. us so maybe we'll start with uh, a little bit because our canadian audience knows who the tragically hip is mm. And our American audience, probably if they're Northern, they know a little bit, but uh, maybe share with them a little bit about how you guys came to be part of the band and formulating yeah. the band. Because I know, Jeff, you do a lot of the, the administration part of the band. <laughs> yes, yeah, I do handle a lot of that. Uh, 
it, it started a few years back. Uh, I was playing with a different Tragically Hip uh, tribute. We were doing rib fests around Ontario and uh, we had a weekend where we didn't have a drummer. So I reached out to John here because I've played in bands with him before and reluctantly dragged him out. Uh, there wasn't much time to get ready. You only had a couple days and there wasn't going to be a rehearsal. So it was just know the song, step up and play and did a great job. We went out there, had a great time and uh, we we're sitting there eating ribs afterwards and thought, you know, why don't we just do this for ourselves? And so when the summer uh -huh. wrapped up, we tracked down a few other guys and through a few lineup changes through the years, we're the five strong we are now out there. But we're in that. a good place now. We are, we are. We bring that, you know, that real feel of the hip, really try to honor that memory of the hip and the music that they made. And you mentioned it sort of just in passing there, but you guys were friends before when yeah. you joined the band. Uh, I've never really and liked them. But... <laughs> no, we, uh, we made amends um, <laughs> when we formed the hip, but we actually used to be... Uh, Childhood friends um, rock, rode the bus together, went to public school, elementary school, all that together. And we were in a, I was in a previous band, a Kiss band, and we needed a guitarist. So we put an ad out and he actually laughed about it for a little bit and then thought, you know, this actually might be pretty cool. <laughs> so long story short, we met up with the other guys in the Kiss band and uh, we ended up knowing each other. And then um, we've turned our talents to the tragically hip it's canada's band and uh if you're canadian it's your band that's my thoughts anyway. <laughs> and <laughs> and you guys obviously were fans of the band before the, tra the, the original oh, yeah. tragically hip that we're talking about that you guys emulate on your weekends and holidays oh, for sure. and Life everything else times, yeah. Right? yeah and i'm assuming you saw them live yep <laughs> I only got to see him once. Uh, John saw him a lot more than that, but yeah. I was actually, I was very fortunate. Uh, August 8th, 2016, um, Tragically Hip were in uh, London Gardens or Budweiser Gardens, JLC Center. I don't know, whatever they call it. But anyways, um, we were in London. I actually got tickets and uh, I took my son to Dawson to his first and last, unfortunately, uh, hip concert, but uh, phenomenal. I've seen him five, six times and it's just awesome every time you know so such a different feel when you see yeah. them live versus hearing their studio music yeah. where there's a, a real poetry that Gord would bring to the stage right and so much extra right he'd tell stories in the middle of songs so songs would be 12 13 minutes long because he's telling you this mm -hmm. amazing story right so we really try to bring that part into it to so you can have that feel again like you're at the concert so when you guys are putting your uh line up together for your show do you always keep in mind how the original tragically hit band would have played the song or do you ever modify it a little bit to make it your own we, well definitely we modify it yeah um because i think like like jeff was saying when you're listening to the album version it doesn't justify really the, the music itself it's a great they're great songs they got great beats but when you get to see the live version, Gord just the theatrics that he does and, you know, the, they just all add their own different little spikes to it, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I think we're the same. For sure. Yeah. The, the hip were lifelong friends. They grew up playing music together and you could tell when you listen to them and see them on stage, they they had that interaction with each other. So we try to have that right. And you know bring something to the song that's ourselves and the people feel that right it's it's not a total emulation as much as it is you know we're trying to honor that music and make it our own in a way that the hip would have done it and in a way that we think they would actually enjoy it as well sure. very cool very cool um and what do you guys find i know you said you had uh and we'll talk a little bit about the music and your your concert schedule but when you went through a few lineup changes, did you find it, it now that you guys have had the same people for a little while that your rhythm where you're more of that friendship and like the original hip is there and you guys are able to play off each other? I, I think I think with the, the crew we got now, that's we have a lot of that. Um, we gel we gel really good. I mean, not, anybody that was in the band previous, like nothing bad against them. They were great. I just we have a feel you know where me and jimmy just kind of jive like off energy, each other and yeah. me and sixer sure. can 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 flow and feel each other on solos and 
his his solos and my endings and stuff like that so we really gel off each other i think well i think the real piece was uh when dave came in right he really brings that sound of chord, yeah. right that's the the key element is sound that sound right and he yeah. he has this voice that just when you hear it you're like wow is gord downey here yeah. and that's what really took it to that next level sure yeah. and you guys have been i know pretty busy uh you just had a concert what just couple nights ago we've been going yeah. a little bit yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean i know covid's kind of slowed things yeah. down but um we've been back and forth to toronto yeah. a couple of times we're in hamilton uh yeah. we got new year's parties. coming up here in a few yeah. days and yeah. we did the uh those wedding parties and uh some mm. private some private parties and uh, so you, you got a little bit of a break through the holidays yeah yes. and then you're back at it new year's eve new year's eve in uh london's at chuck's roadhouse so that's London, Ontario yep. for our, our listeners, because uh, our Canadian listeners probably know London, Ontario, but some of them, some of you that are not from Canada, it's not London, England, but <laughs> maybe one day we'll get them over there. <laughs> but uh, they're at London, Ontario at Chuck's Roadhouse for New Year's Eve, and we'll share that a little bit more with you. Um, so when you guys put your band together and you're putting your songs together, Jeff, you do a lot of the administration. Are you the main one that puts the lineup together for the music or how do you guys decide? As what far as playing? what songs we yeah. play? Uh, no, that's it's a lot of that's a band discussion and a lot of that it's left up to the singer, right? Because okay. Dave's the one who's got to perform it and sing it. So we want to make sure it's songs he's comfortable with and that fit with him vocally. And yeah. so a lot of that comes from that. And then of course, everybody's got their favorite songs. So we want to try to make sure we put that in. And when it comes to the hip, they, they have a lot of songs that everybody knew. And so you, you, you want to make sure you get all those in, right? And then from there, a sprinkling of B-sides that the diehards will be like, wow, I didn't expect appreciate to hear that. that. I appreciate that. Nice. And do you, do you guys do the same show each, each time that you go out? Or do you have a way where you say, okay, for these couple shows in Toronto or Hamilton, we're going to do the set this way and you do that. And then after that, you change it up with different songs or how do you, how do you guys do that with each show? Um, our set list hasn't changed uh, drastically. Um, it has changed over shows here and there. Maybe start with this song, this show, uh, finish with this song. So we kind of play with our, our catalog, um, but in the gist of it, lately because we're just getting back out and getting you know from the covid we've just kept the lineup it's pretty much similar added a song here added a song there and and just gone with it like that just to uh uh get comfortable and get back get the rust off right nice what um we're gonna take a break in a minute but uh i want to ask jeff what (laughs) because with with administering a band (laughs) and you because you do most of the bookings and most of the bookings yeah the how, promotions yeah uh, so social media. do you like that part of it and do you find parts of it frustrating or very frustrating yeah. <laughs> very frustrating yeah I, I i'm not a manager right so it, i want to just play the music i don't want to have to deal with bookings and getting paid and all the the the, the, time. the work right it's a lot of right. time it's not that i don't enjoy yeah. that it's just my i love the music right and it's hard in today's age it's very different like years ago when you played bars were full and they were just hiring entertainment for their bar and they pay you well now bars don't want to pay right you do a lot now where you have to charge a door cover to get paid and the bar expects you to fill up their bar which is very difficult especially you know we're from london if we're up up north somewhere up in toronto we don't have huge friends up in that area that we can pull from so it's a very different landscape than it was 15 years ago, right? So that that's part of the frustration too, and a lot of a lot of calls, a lot of emails that just go unanswered while you wait for bars to get back to you and venues to get back to you. And so I do. I would love a manager, right, to take some of that off my plate. As <laughs> I'm sure my girlfriend would too, because it takes away from her as well. Yep. She's amazing. I love my girlfriend. Put that out there <laughs> so she can hear it. Happy baby. Uh, but yeah, definitely, it's a lot of work, right? It, it, I, it's hard to give up though now because it is kind of my baby. And right? you've been doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for hip now about three years. Yeah. Yeah. So. So we but, might. 
we might have a, a an opening for someone out there who's a manager in music. Definitely, yeah. music manager, call me. <laughs> We're gonna take our first break of the night while you all look for a manager and download our app because you're gonna want to uh, be able to connect with these guys later. Uh, so don't go anywhere. You are listening to the Inspired Choices Network. This is Financially Speaking. I'm your host, Kathy Cook Noble, and I have the Hip Two Tragically Hip Tribute Band with me for the whole night. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Too many of us get caught up in the unreal lives of reality television and complete to acquire stuff, which is setting us up to accumulate lots of debt. We're scared, confused, and don't know who to talk to. By tuning into Financially Speaking Radio Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble, you'll learn tips you can use to improve your financial health, which in turn can improve your overall health and make for a very happy life. Live a life you can afford and enjoy. It is possible. Listen for Financially Speaking Radio Show every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain, and 1 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Financially Speaking Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to Kathy at bookkeepplus.ca. Now back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network. I am your host, Kathy Cook Noble. And tonight, my very special guests are my, my first time rock band that I've ever had on the show, um, which is super cool to, to me because I've, uh, I've had some pretty great guests and none of them have been uh, rock stars like this. And two of the five members of the Hip 2 band are with me tonight, John the drummer and Jeff the lead guitarist as al and also the administration wing of the band, which we're going to try and get him out of. So if you are in any way inclined towards managing a band, these guys need one because they have gotten super busy. And 2021 was a very busy year for them as the world started to open back up and book bands and start to appreciate live music once again in the in, in, in person instead of on Zoom calls and, and in webinar settings. So the band has been super busy and I know Jeff especially has been busy because he's in charge of all the administration of it. So they seriously are looking for a band. Don't feel free to reach out to me or reach out to them. And um, you can find them on Facebook. You can find them on Instagram. Uh, they're on Twitter, but they're really mostly on Facebook and Instagram. That's where they spend, Jeff spends most of his time and the band spends most of their time. So look them up, like them, contact them. Uh, they have had uh, a lot of people that have booked them for private events, uh, either weddings or um, private, private parties, parties, birthdays, so forth. So they're available for that. We'll keep Jeff super busy until we get him a manager. So I'll reach out to him. The hip to at outlook.com as well. If you just want to email us, Perfect. any managers out there. Yeah. So the hip to at outlook.com. Right. Email them and connect with them. If you want to, uh, you can, you're, you're welcome to connect with them on, on hiring them for an event and also for um, applying for the job, <laughs> I uh, guess. Yeah, Facebook, and we're hip to. Hip to, so yeah, they're- You can do at hip to on Facebook and Instagram is hip dot to, to search us. And that's T-O-O. T-O-O, -O, yes. H-I-P-T-O-O, -O, hip to. So it's at hip to on Facebook and hip dot, dot to, to on Instagram. You got it. So find them, seek them out and you will be glad you did. 
and it's a good financial move because it's a lot of fun to watch them in concert sure. and and it's a lot of fun to uh really i actually always think it's fun to have live music because it's pretty great and i want to ask you about the live music because we talked about the different sound with the studio between the tragically hit band and, and your band as well because you you do a good job emulating their their style um what happens like live events even like the show here is live and you can have technical problems you can have all kinds of things go on have you guys ever had anything happen in the live show that that you're allowed to share <laughs> oh my gosh um, so many problems uh, i i started a show at one time and the first song we played i hit my guitar for the first note and i broke two strings right on the first note of the first song oh crap uh i've had pedals die i had an amp blow up on stage once uh, i've seen drummers put their sticks through the skins <laughs> Uh, cymbals break, uh, patch cords go. I had one guy fall over my guitars and break one one time. It's there's there's been a lot of technical difficulties, right? Uh, lots of times you get show up at the show and you plug all your cables in and cable doesn't work, so you always bring extra cables. At our last show, I had batteries die right near the end. On the encore. Yeah, oh. yeah, we were playing a two and a half hour show and my batteries just didn't quite make it. So I had to swip, switch them out real quick while the guys carried on. Oh my goodness. And, and, and as a drummer, have you ever dropped your sticks or? <laughs> all the any, time. All, do you really? <laughs> uh, all the time. I, um, I usually break about two sticks a show. Oh, okay. So I go through a set a night and- um, They tend to fly at us. They, they do <laughs> tend to hit the singers the singer and Jeff, um, <laughs> potentially, um, I've by accident or <laughs> sometimes, um, I've broke cymbals. Uh, I broke my bass drum, uh, you know, in a warm up. Uh, so we're doing a quick, 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 uh, sound check. Um, and then my pedal came apart and I had no bass pedal. So, and I'm a, I'm a lefty. So, um, the struggles with being a lefty when your left foot uh, pedal goes and you got to use your right one for the rest of the night yeah I'm I, it was hard but we did all right we made it through so what do you do in a case where your strings go like keep how, playing you keep, keep playing, playing. Yeah. Okay. Keep playing. <laughs> the show must go on you get to the end of the song and you grab a new guitar and you, the get sticks back out break, there. you keep playing the strings you grab go, another you one keep... as quick as you can have yep. you ever had anyone where they forgot the words Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We've had that. Yeah. Because you do backup vocals too, right? Uh, not very often in this band. No. No. Okay. But many times I've had, through many bands, I've had lead singers turn to me and look at me. What's the first word? <laughs> well, that's like, I still do that, right? Uh, he'll still how's do this, that. How's this song start? <laughs> oh, bam. Oh, okay. The more the older we get, too, yeah. right? Yeah. You don't remember as well the older you get. Oh, that's good. So when the sing, because you know, you guys can keep playing through and, and most people don't notice the miss note or anything like that. No, the die Especially hearts, if yeah. the drummer keeps the beat, right? Yeah. Because the drummer is kind of important to keep the beat going. Well, there's only one drummer in exactly, the band. Exactly, right? right? There's a couple, you know, guitarists, three guitarists in the band, and there's only one drummer. Yeah. That's because you can't stand more than one drummer. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes so much of a drummer. That's yeah. right. They're loud and obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when, uh, what happens when you you guys keep going and the singer forgets the words or sings the wrong song? Keep going. You, you keep going. Keep, <laughs> do you follow him if he starts in? A, yeah, you, you yeah. try to. Yeah. So you just yeah. You go with the flow, right? And the one rule to live music is when you start the song, you don't stop, right? You go to the end, no matter what happens. So if the, the singer goes off in the wrong direction, we all kind of look at each other, try to get back on track and follow them. Uh, if the drums fall off somewhere, you know, use another one. Yeah. <laughs> like figure it out, right? Break a string. Don't use that one. There's no such thing as a perfect live performance, no. right? Like no. even you go watch the Guns N' Roses and the Kisses, they have those things happen. Sure. The only difference is they have roadies that run out and quickly hand right. them a new guitar, right? Or quickly fix the pedal for them. You are and, and we're looking for roadies if they want to do that too, right? Absolutely. <laughs> there, Absolutely. Listen, this is, see, this is why it's financially speaking, because we're going to employ people. Yes. <laughs> we're going to get the band back to uh, this live is the music. Road crew right <laughs> That's now. right. Yeah, in a truck with a rented U-Haul trailer down the 401, we go. Yeah, ready to rock and roll. So, how many shows would you guys comfortably be able to play 
where you don't feel burnt out in a month like do you guys as many as you want to throw at us yeah yeah, yeah. play every day i play every day if we yeah. could yeah yeah you, you get you're a little sore but i mean it's 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 a lot of fun so it's just something we like to do and it's something we enjoy doing so um the blisters are all worth it so for you guys really um it's work because you you get booked you get paid you have to certain things that have to get done yeah. they're set up and everything else but it's it's not really like work when you get up there on the stage and play is that it, it, it is though like is it's that, exhausting it's tiring yeah, you know? it's not like work when you're on the stage right yeah that, that's the moment that all the work is built to right well, so I, a little bit though the drummer does a lot more movements so i'm probably exerting more energy than everyone else on stage the drummer complains more than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's all that work that led you to there right yeah. so you know the rehearsals maybe sometimes feel like work because you're playing that same yeah. part 16 yeah. 20 25 yeah. times till you get it right and you know you're you, sometimes you get at each other's throat because you're like why don't you just get this right and, yeah you know and where you're sitting there and you're creating all the advertisements and you're doing all the bookings that's where it feels like work but that's all gone when you get out on stage and there's 500 way. people in front of you and they're all singing along it's no longer work at the, that's that's what you've worked for yeah. right that's the moment that you want to be in so how often would you guys rehearse then are you you're you're pretty regular right well depending on when we got shows so for back-to-back -back weekends we don't get a practice that week right. and uh the more we gig it's a practice anyways right so um we sometimes you don't have to get together all the time um usually though we're once a week maybe twice a week depending um if we're not going to be at say a month or a week and a half or, or a, a couple three weeks before a gig um We'll uh, we'll get together and, and hammer out maybe two or three just real quick just to get a little tight and you know then we're good. So when you guys are at your rehearsals, your your work like you say it's work. Do you ever kind of veer off in any direction and do some mm -hmm. some kind of other music that maybe you didn't plan to do or just you get a little bit? John and heavy. I <laughs> have this side project uh, where we we rap. Oh we, dear. We, we rap old school hip hop. <laughs> We're working on something new. Music. It's just shock your mind and wait to hear this keep, one. Keep your eye out for uh, Snoop Dogg and Dre here who are going to be coming at you with some crazy beats. This might. This is going to be. We cover it all on financially speaking. We'll employ the music lovers. Uh, we will oh, expand the hip right. too. <laughs> so they'll be adding to their uh, repertoire of music of sorts <laughs> so that's cool um so when you're at did you guys do that in your rehearsal then like do you just go off and sometimes start yeah, playing around with that for sure uh more oh, towards the cool. end usually yeah. right you yeah. try to stay you keep it pretty business like right because we Sweet. all have families and lives and so you get there you want to start on time and then near the end absolutely we just it's, you're having fun with your buddies right so you just start to play some music see what comes out right and depending on how many beers have been passed around depends where the music goes sometimes <laughs> do you guys do any uh, original songs or do you do any writing of your own right now other than the the rapping that you're working on no i i uh i'm in another band with uh, a couple other guys uh we do all a bunch of all originals um but other than that, I mean, it's just, we stick to the hip and we're I've kinda... written a lot of originals through yeah, the yeah, years yeah. and, you know, some real music, some just kind of offensive campfire music, right? Well, that's Blanket Apologies <laughs> right there. That's, that's my campfire band. It's called Blanket Apology and I always issue a Blanket Apology at the start of the night for anyone I may offend. And then I make up original songs in the key of Jin G. <laughs> oh man that's pretty good so you guys out there that are it's not just about the music when you're when you're hearing the band talk and i suspect that the the tragically hip was similar in nature where it was a lot about friendship and camaraderie and and really getting together to enjoy the music that they write because they that all their music was original music oh absolutely. Wasn't it? so yeah. so they're playing all of the, the tragically hip uh, original music. So we're going to take our, our next break of the night. Uh, don't go anywhere. We have the hip too. When we come back, we're going to get a little bit personal with them. We're going to ask them about their, how their family, uh, handles the, the travel and the, the schedule and all the, the things that go with it. Um, they're, they're here for the night. 
We're going to ask them if you have questions, you're welcome to get a hold of them. Uh, don't forget to reach out to them on Instagram at hip.2, that's T O O, or follow them on Facebook at the hip2. You'll find them there. And of course, uh, you're always welcome to reach out to them and, and talk about booking them for concerts. And uh, I'll share with you a little story of my own after the break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back. Too many of us get caught up in the unreal lives of reality television and complete to acquire stuff, which is setting us up to accumulate lots of debt. We're scared, confused, and don't know who to talk to. By tuning into Financially Speaking Radio Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble, you'll learn tips you can use to improve your financial health, which in turn can improve your overall health and make for a very happy life. Live a life you can afford and enjoy. It is possible. Listen for Financially Speaking Radio Show every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain, and 1 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Money is complicated, right? Actually, no, it's not. You don't have to be a trader on Wall Street to get a handle on your money. TV shows often instill fear to keep you believing you can't understand it or do anything yourself. If dealing with your finances brings up a lot of other F-words, then you need to read All Ladies Should Use the F-Word, A Guide to Loving Your Finances by Kathy Cook Noble. Kathy helps you take control of your finances and leave the other F-word, fear, in the dust. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Financially Speaking Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspireChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to Kathy at BookKeepPlus.ca. Now back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network. And I'm your host, Kathy Cook Noble. And with me tonight are my very special guests. I have two of the band members from the HIP2. They're a Tragically Hip tribute band. And uh, I know I have no introduction needed to that band for our, my Canadian listeners. And for my listeners outside of Canada, the Tragically Hip is by far one of the the most popular and well-known Canadian bands that uh, that we've had actually in the music industry. So we've been just talking to the band a little bit about, you know, how how they handle their performances and, <coughs> and their rehearsals and so forth. And we've had some questions in the, the chat room. And one of the questions, uh, which is such a great question is, uh, has the band had any challenges at, with being at the bar? Uh, for example, any substance issues, and and if there have been, how have you moved past it? How have you dealt with it? So, have you guys ever had any issues? Uh, through the years, definitely. Uh, you know, we, we've had. There's people that just can't handle their booze, right? And so there's there's been people who've had too much to drink, uh, people that got too into drugs, mm -hmm. and uh, I actually lost a friend of mine. He got too far into the pills and. He was a great drummer, but there was times we'd show up for band practice and he'd pawned his drums and he had pots and pans set up in the buckets because he had pawned his drum, drums for drugs. And oh, wow. yeah, he, yeah, he lost his battle to addiction about five years ago, he passed away. And so, yeah, I've seen, seen quite a few people with a lot of issues, right? Uh, I used to drink a lot. I, I quit drinking, well, 
I quit drinking, drinking about a couple of years ago now. I quit drinking on stage about 10 years ago because it, it's just too easy at a bar to to get drunk, right? It really is. People like to buy you drinks and That's then you have drinks. Yeah. And yeah. very quickly, before you know it, you've had eight, nine, 10 drinks. And well, how many, oh, no. how many, like we've had actual bar owners come up with shots while we're in the middle of playing a song and putting shots down. I mean, we've had to give them away to people. <laughs> Here, have one, have one. We can't drink that many, right? Like you right. just can't perform like that. It's right. always an issue. So as hip to, we kind of have a blanket, a pulp, a blanket, a pulp, a blanket, a blanket, a a blanket rule we just we don't bring alcohol don't bring on stage anymore right our, our stage is alcohol free and that just ensures that when we're up there it's, it's the performance and it yeah. keeps it professional very good right so very i'm good. drinking water i swear to god i take a, <laughs> i take a water up with me we all do that's all we drink on stage <laughs> that's amazing um how, we talked a little bit before the break that uh, i was going to ask you about your family and how how this affects your family life and how your family feels about the travel and the, well, the schedule, frankly, because you've got the bookings and, and Jeff, especially you, because you have the behind the scenes stuff. Then you have the actual performances, you have the rehearsals, you have all the, the prep work yeah. for the rehearsals and oh, the uh, transportation. So how does that, how does the family life affect, get affected? Um, well, for me, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that my wife actually, she loves the hip as much as I do. And um, so she tries to actually come to every show uh, she works every other weekend. So depending on how we play, uh, she couldn't make my last one, um, making the next one, can't make the third one, making the fourth one, you know? Yeah. So it, it, it's unfortunate. It is what it is, but um, we go down there with the sole purpose of um, we're going down, we're performing, we want to give you the best live show and we exert a lot of energy into our shows and then afterwards we pack up and, you know, depending on where we are, we got a two, three, four hour drive home. So, you know, we might not get home till two, three, four in the morning and um, then we got to unpack a trailer and uh, it's a lot of work to, to get ready for a show, but it's also a lot of fun. And so I've, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm lucky that my, uh, my wife can, can travel with me. We, we don't have any children. I mean, we both have, have our kids, but I mean, we don't have any young children. So it's easier for us, um, other than the dogs. But uh, that's why I gotta call you to come bring them <laughs> over and let them out for me, right? But no, um, for me it's it's pretty easy. Uh, he's different. Yeah, it's a little more challenging. <laughs> yeah, for me. Uh, there's different stages in life. So absolutely, uh, the, I have. You have the younger ones. I have younger children. I have older and younger children. <laughs> four, four. Well, three beautiful girls and a fourth on the way. Uh, my girlfriend's amazing, though, right? She loves that we do this and she's she knows that I'm a musician right like I've never hid who I am from her she knows I love the music the music is what I want to do and she supports that and absolutely there's times where it's like okay you know you're spending a little too much time or do you have to and but at the end of the day she supports me and she knows and she's amazing about it right she stays home and takes care of the children and makes sure that everything there is taken care of so I do have the capability to go out and do this and I can't thank her enough for what she does right like without right. her there to support me I wouldn't be able to do it right it's just not possible now do you guys listen to the tragically hip when you're just around the house or if you're cutting the grass or <laughs> truthfully no um, when I'm in my truck, which is a lot, yeah. um, yeah, I have every hip CD. Uh, yeah, I still, you, I CD? still use CDs. Okay. I don't CD. have Bluetooth. I got an 03 Dodge with a CD player, but I got the big book, right? Everybody remembers that the big book that holds four CDs. Well, I have every hip CD, Gord Downey CD. Um, they're all coming back, aren't they? The vinyl and the they are. Yeah. I, that's why I kept mine. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> wish you kept yours. But, um, but no, we do. And uh, me and Jeff, we, we, we work together too um, at the shop and uh, we do have a tendency uh, to listen to some hip, especially if we're getting ready for a show, we'll throw the ghetto blast. I mean, the Bluetooth. That was, a, the Bluetooth that was an speaker. 80s uh, reference, um, wasn't it? Holy smokes. <laughs> the uh, Bluetooth speaker now. I got to um, but anyways, he'll put that on. He's got a, a collection on his phone because I got the collection and CDs. So he'll put that on and uh, we'll just kind of work away and listen and uh, kind of strum it in our heads and kind of just, you know, muscle memory. 
we're both huge fans of the hip at the end of the day, right? Yeah. So we definitely listen to a lot of hip. It always have from right time we were young, right? It saw us through a lot of a lot of downs. times, ups and downs, a lot of good trips, bad trips, <laughs> right? No. The hip were always there through everything. What about the kids? Because you have younger kids, so are they listening to the hip now? Like you got a whole new generation, really. Yeah. That's introduced. Because so, I know yours are like he's twenty three. Twenty three. So yeah. He's already he's already been to concerts and, and, and so on. And Your Nicole's guys are, her boys twenty two. Yeah. So our boys are right there. Mm -hmm. They both like the hip. Um, Dawson's gotten more into it because I think now that I'm yeah doing it, um, and he wants to kind of learn how to play the drums because I think he sees how much fun it is on stage. <laughs> And it is a lot of fun, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. <laughs> so and my kids all enjoy it, right? Like they range 24, 14, one and a half, and zero. Zero. In <laughs> utero still, yeah. And they all they've all enjoyed the hip, right? I, I raised them proper with good music, right? right. <laughs> and but the baby loves the hip is one of the few musics that will calm her down. Uh, awesome. Grace too, she just loves that song, Courage. And I and I don't know why, because she doesn't understand words, right? But she feels that beat, and there's just something about it that'll stop her from crying and just calm her down, and then well, she'll there, start to dance. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a poetry to the hip. There is. You know, like, the the, the, the tragically hip, like, Gord, Gord was a, an awesome, he, he, just the poetry that he came out of his mouth, you know, th as much as you listen to the hip, you will listen to it, and you'll be like, oh, he said this. And then when you look at the words, you weren't even close. It sounds like it, but it wasn't even close. And I know that's for me because I'm not a singer. I'm just the drummer in the back. So I follow beats and I follow guitar riffs. And I listen to certain spots where Gord's goes off and I got to hit cymbals, right? But um, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, I'll tell you. And Gord is just the, the words and the poetry that comes out. And it's, 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 it's just awesome. I, I absolutely love the hip, you know? So because this is financially speaking, <coughs> and we do talk about finance on all the shows, because in my world, everything relates back to the financial. And I don't mean that in a, a, a driven by money way, but it always, you have to have the money to be able to do things, right? And different people have different drive and different people have different targets for what they want for money. So what happens with you guys? Um, how do you handle any financial impact? Like if you have a breakage of guitar strings? Well, financially speaking, we don't make any money. <laughs> That's right. Financially speaking, don't quit your day jobs when you come in position. Uh, Long & McQuaid's has amazing financing parameters, so they're able to pay them every month for everything you want. <laughs> uh, but it is a it is expensive, right? There There is a lot of cost that goes with it, right? And Well, what it, what's the old saying? You lug $10,000 worth of gear. Uh, down the highway for uh, four hours for a two-hour gig that pays you a hundred bucks. You know? <laughs> like, honestly, you know. I'm going to have to talk to these guys about the financial side of this. <laughs> but it's, it's something that even if I wasn't playing live, I would still be buying the gear, right? I'd still want that guitar. I'd still want that amp because I'm still, like, I'm still, still a guitar it, player, right? right? But now you know, I want this guitar because it's what Robbie Baker played in the Tragically Hip, right? So I got to buy that guitar instead of a different guitar. But uh, for me, music has paid for all my instruments, right? I've been doing this since I was 19. So like four or five years now, I've been doing this. Uh, <laughs> Almost. They're not that uh, great okay. with math, I think. <laughs> Maybe 24, 25 years I've been doing this. And it's never paid me well, but it's always paid for all my instruments, right? Even if I have to do it one month at a time, <laughs> I eventually will pay off all the gear I own. <laughs> and and for the record, you're not if you're thinking about booking them and want to contact them, 100 bucks isn't going to do it. No. <laughs> that's why John's not in charge of the no. administration. And that's why they need a band. <laughs> they need a manager for the band. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, $100. We'll, $100. We'll 125 get... though, we'll start to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you might get the call with the band for that's that. That's right. <laughs> uh, so we're going to, we're coming up to our, our final break for the night. And then we're going to come back and wrap it up. I'm going to uh, try and. I uh, want us to wrap yeah here we go <laughs> yeah, maybe One, uh two, we're gonna three, we're gonna two, come two, back <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back with our, our two members from the the hip to john the drummer and jeff the lead guitar slash uh 
ready to give up his job as manager. <laughs> That's right. So uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network, and we will be right back. Too many of us get caught up in the unreal lives of reality television and complete to acquire stuff, which is setting us up to accumulate lots of debt. We're scared, confused, and don't know who to talk to. By tuning into Financially Speaking Radio Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble, you'll learn tips you can use to improve your financial health, which in turn can improve your overall health and make for a very happy life. Live a life you can afford and enjoy. It is possible. Listen for Financially Speaking Radio Show every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain, and 1 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Financially Speaking Show with financial advisor and educator Kathy Cook Noble. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to Kathy at bookkeepplus.ca. Now back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Financially Speaking on the Inspired Choices Network. I'm your host, Kathy Cook Noble, and my very special guests for the last hour have been the Hip Two, which is the Tragically Hip tribute band uh, that is uh, incredibly popular in, in Canada and throughout the country for sure, not just in Ontario, um, where they've been very busy and very booked and, and are definitely booked for this coming New Year's, which is only a few days away. And if you want to connect with them, uh, please reach out to them on Facebook at the hip2 and also on Instagram at hip.2. And also the email address is hip2 at outlook.com. So reach out to Jeff, um, either to apply for the job as the manager. You're hired. Or, <laughs> which I think he will be a very uh, easy interview. Oh, absolutely. Um, and also, if you want to talk to him about booking the uh, the band for any events or private parties, uh, as they've been super busy and uh, in high demand for that. So this this coming New Year's. And if they want to talk to the drummer about anything else. Right. That, that's that's you, where I come Right. In. That's the drummer. Okay. Um, so anything non-business related is the drummer. Any non-financial is the drummer. <laughs> um, so this, we have New Year's is coming up in just a few days. Like it's yeah. incredible. We've got the end of another year happening. Um, and you guys are going to be playing live. You are. And where are you playing? Chuck's Roadhouse, yeah. uh, 650 Richmond Road, London, Ontario. And are there still some tickets available? I think there is still a few available. Uh, you can get them online through eventbrite.ca or through Chuck's directly. Uh, I haven't checked the sales in the last day or two, but there, there's not many left, but definitely take a look. And if you're looking for something to do, see if there's some tickets and come on out for a, a great show and a good meal. A great combo. You can come in for the show or you can buy the package and have the dinner plus the show. Oh, okay. uh, Chuck's is great food and you get great food and a great band. Perfect. And it's the first New Year's in the last couple of years where people have had the opportunity to be out live <laughs> and uh you know you're, you're gonna be masked up that's okay but you're gonna be live and seeing live music again around real people instead of through the computers and and all the technology so it will be a, a really great event so if anyone's uh, looking for information and i'm sure if we go on the at hip to the hip two on facebook we'll get some information there oh, so absolutely. look out for any of their um, social media and that you'll be able to connect with them so um, I'm going to share a tiny secret that uh, you might not know. Um, I'm actually related to one of the band members. And so this might be how <laughs> I was able to talk That's them what, into it. The one's not here. Sure <laughs> That's <to>. right. <laughs> but we all actually work together in some capacity during the week sometimes. So uh, the, we have, and, and this is where I'm just going on the record to put them on the spot because uh, I'm hoping they won't say no on a live TV or live podcast. Um, we have, so John and I have uh, part of the family business is our 95th anniversary next year. Yes. If you can believe it, 2022, we, we ring in a new year and we ring in 95 years from a business that my, our grandfather started in 1927, which is like 
super cool. I help out sometimes, but John and Jeff actually are, are the ones full time that keep things rolling along. And they just call me for the administration. This is where Jeff, <laughs> this is where I help Jeff with the administration. That's right. But, uh, and we're looking at, and this is where I want you to keep your eyes open on their social media and everything, because I'm going to try and talk them into when we have a big celebration, getting the band to, to play next summer oh. in 2022. Oh. So we will, uh, uh, you're all seeing it for the first time. So my attempt uh, at trying, see, I'm clearly not going to make it as the manager because uh, I would just book it, right? <laughs> yeah i don't know if, well i don't know you might be able to twist my arm Maybe. um if you have courage we might be able to do it. <laughs> and, and i'll make sure there's food oh well we're there we're then. i know i know sometimes uh these these guys can be uh if we're musicians convinced. we don't make a lot of money we need to eat yeah That's right. so they get to be a little bit convinced with food sometimes so you sprinkle so you, you sprinkle the bills in front of us we're okay you sprinkle a little bit of food in front of us that's okay too <laughs> so uh, it's exciting because uh it is such a, a canadian icon band that they are that they they do quite the quite justice to actually um and i'm i as you all know i am a finance person i'm a numbers person um music is not my forte but i can certainly appreciate i know i know it's hard to believe uh, don't let her fool you i've seen her <laughs> dance better be good to me by tina turner she's got her down pat that's my next band a tina turner cover this is the singer <laughs> okay you heard it here first <laughs> it's as what i heard it here first <laughs> um but it's been it's i've seen them in concert i've seen them live in concert and it is a real treat because they are exceptional performers and they're as much fun as they are to have on the show tonight, which has been, uh, a, I, it took me a little bit to get them to come on the show. I didn't have as much pull as I thought, but uh, I had to talk to Jeff. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's how anything happens. That, I got to talk to Jeff. You that's want right. something done, you got to talk to Jeff. So uh, it's been great having you guys on the show. And I really, really appreciate you. Really appreciate you having us. And they're welcome to come back anytime. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, oh, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get them here. Maybe we can even get a little bit of uh, a snip from the, the show or something. Um, but it's been great to have them on the show because the, the sh our show here is really about uh, understanding your place in life and how your finances fit into it. And if you want to be in a band and you want to, to be a rock star, uh, you can do it. And you plan for it financially. Like Jeff said, you know, it costs money and things happen where guitar strings break or, or drum sticks break or the batteries go or pedals get need to be replaced or whatever the case is. And that all costs money. And that's all money like any business where it's money put out first by the people who start it. So that's where it, there is some financial part of it. And uh, you definitely want to be prepared and, and you definitely want to plan for it. Uh, but you also have to do something you love. And that's these guys, you can see it when they're on the stage, every single show, how much they love it and how talented they are. So please reach out to them. Uh, there are not a lot of tickets left. I've checked and uh, I, they actually might be pretty close to sold out. You only have a couple days to get out there and get your tickets. If you are in Ontario or if you're going to be in Ontario, then uh, check out Chuck's Roadhouse in London, Ontario. Uh, or check out the band on Facebook or Instagram, or you can email Jeff directly. That's right. So at outlook.com. Um, we look forward to seeing them again. And we look forward to seeing all of you here on Financially Speaking, because uh, we help with not just, uh, not just the hard math, because we don't believe in hard math. We believe in understanding your own position in life. And, and frankly, that's what the whole Inspired Choices Network stands for. So if there's a, a something you need some support with or you're having an issue with and you just need a little bit of help or a little bit of guidance there are many many hosts with a lot of skills that are available on our network and absolutely the inspired choices network show which is hosted by christine our our producer and our owner uh there are all kinds of shows where she gives great advice um, if you need help with relationships with money with finances um with uh, just mindset or lifestyle coaching, then this is the platform for you. So download the app, join us every Monday on Financially Speaking, where we dissect another conversation of money and finances and help you make your life the very best it can possibly be. And we'll see you again next Monday on the very same network at the same time.
Thank you for choosing to listen to Financially Speaking Radio Show. Kathy Cook Noble will return next Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain, and 1 p.m. Pacific on InspireChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by making the choices that bring you all that you desire.